This is the trophy presented to the winning owner of the Doncaster Handicap, run at Randwick over the most testing mile in Australian racing. Today we celebrate the 150th running of this great race. The AJC moved to Randwick in 1860 and in 1866 named this race after the famous English racecourse. Its winning list features many of the champions of the Australian turf. The 1920s and 30s were a golden period in our racing history. Whittier, Fujisan, Valakare and Wanuka thrilled the huge crowds of the Autumn Carnival. One of the greatest milers, Chatham, won the Doncaster in 1934, carrying 10 stone 4 pounds to equal the weight carrying record established by Marvel 42 years earlier. During World War II, Randwick was temporarily occupied by the military and the race was run at Rose Hill. The beer strike of 1948 resulted in a record 91,500 patrons cramming Randwick Racecourse. 366 bookmakers fielded and the heavily backed The Diver saluted with George Moore in the saddle. Dual winners in the 1950s and 60s were Slogan II, Tudor Hill and fine and dandy. Racegoers love a champion, especially when it beats the best under handicap conditions. Such a horse was the 1972 winner Gun Sind. The Gundawindi Grey built a large and loyal following as much for his showmanship as his ability. When Gun Sind stepped onto the track, he'd stop and wait for the applause and in 1972 a crowd of 52,000 cheered his winning effort as he passed the post. A horse of humble pedigree and a bargain buy for a syndicate from the bush, Gunsin became a horse of the people. The 1974 winner, Tontonen, was named by the visiting president of Indonesia. The name means spectacle in Indonesian and the lasting image was that of two streakers running past the winning post during the race. Perhaps the horse who can claim the title of the champion of the Randwick Mile is Superimpose. This huge upstanding chestnut defied history to win successive Epsom and Doncaster handicaps in 1990 and 1991. Super carried the colours of the legendary Carbine who had taken all before him 100 years earlier. Inducted into the Australian Racing Hall of Fame, Superimpose boasted victories in all metropolitan tracks in Sydney and Melbourne. Superimpose is rapidly overhauling Shaftesbury Avenue. Oh, yeah. Shaftesbury Avenue still in front. Superimpose oh. wide out. Lunsden got up to win the Doncaster. He's come from near last. In recent years, Sunline and More Joyous have added their names to the list of winners of this great race. On the opening day of the championships, with $3 million in prize money, we hope that you will enjoy another spectacular Doncaster.